Hello and welcome back to Mule 4 Learning Videos. Uh, I am Shiva, Technical Architect in MuleSoft. Today we are going to see an interesting topic of using Groovy script in Mule 4. Many a times uh, you might need uh, extensive use of uh, Groovy script uh, uh, in Mule 4. Uh, sometimes when uh, Mule takes multiple components to achieve some specific functionality. You can try to use Groovy script uh, in a concise way where you can combine uh, multiple operations under a single component. So let's see how it works. So I have a basic uh, uh, Mule 4 project with a HTTP listener and a logger. So I have a HTTP listener uh, uh, listening on uh, 7788 and I have already started the server and let's see how this works. So I have a simple payload that is uh, uh, coming back as a response because uh, uh, we have just introduced one logger. To be able to use uh, Groovy script you should have the scripting component available in any point studio. So it doesn't come by default and you have to ensure installing it in any point studio. So type script and if you don't see it coming here, click on try looking for it in exchange and type script. There you go. There you can see the scripting module and you can add it. Click on finish so that uh, it downloads and makes it available in your any point studio. So I have already installed it and you can see uh, scripting available. So before uh, dragging and dropping uh, scripting component, let's prepare some uh, data to manipulate uh, using scripting. Let's introduce a variable and let's call it as uh, username and let's extract it from the payload. So I have a payload field called name here and uh, we are going to extract the value of the name field and we are going to use it within Groovy script. So we have done that and let's introduce uh, scripting and uh, you have two kinds of scripting one is under database one under uh, uh, scripting you need to drag and drop the scripting one and not the database and uh, the idea is to use this variable username here so we can, this is very easy. So let's manipulate the payload using payload equal to payload plus. And in order to uh, get the name, uh, you have to use wars. Wars is a collection used by uh, um, MuleSoft to keep track of the flow variables. So let's use wars. And the flow variable is... Uh, username and uh, ensure that you are using the engine uh, groovy and you have multiple options which we are going to see in uh, future videos but for now we will use groovy script let's save this and uh, so the engine is restarted now let's see now we are going to see an error and I'll explain why we get uh, such error. You can already see that there is a weird error coming as a response which talks about managed cursor stream provider. If you see this kind of message, uh, please note that uh, you have an incompatible data type. So let's look at this uh, expression. So this expression just retrieves the payload.name uh, which is basically extracted from JSON and results in JSON data type internally. So however, uh, within the script, in order to be able to use this, uh, we need to have it as a string data. There is a simple technique uh, wherever uh, this uh, issue occurs. We can use uh, write function in MuleSoft. Let's go and take a look at the documentation of MuleSoft. So write function is used to convert the given data into the string uh, or uh, in a specified data type. The example is uh, here. So you can use it in two different ways. You can use it in a transformation and then use the payload uh, into any other variable or for any other purpose. 
or uh, we are going to see another technique where we can give this data wave as an expression so that we can directly put it in a flow variable. So the uh, syntax is simple. We are giving the um, uh, input and the data type uh, that we want to convert to. So let's take a look at this. So we are using the write function to extract payload.name uh, in a JSON data type and eventually we are converting into uh, application slash Java which could be uh, basically uh, java.lang.string. Let's see how this works. Let's copy this expression and uh, instead of uh, payload.name we are going to use this expression. So now we have the username uh, available which will be the value of Shiva and uh, let's look into this uh, uh, scripting and in the scripting we have given simple expression uh, to use this hello and the extracted username as a string which will be uh, displayed as a payload. Also we can see here there is a default uh, target value that's returning as an outcome of uh, scripting component which is by default a payload. Let's uh, save this and let's uh, get the application restarted. It's restarted. Let's try now. Now you can see Hello Shiva as an output. So this is a simple uh, experiment uh, of how to use uh, uh, Groovy script and the technique of converting JSON uh, data into the different data that we want. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll come back with another interesting topic soon. Please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon. Bye.